Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, it's Chelsea Jackson. And on this channel, I talk about plus size fashion, travel, lifestyle, and product reviews. So if any of those things interest you, please hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. So that way you're notified every time I upload a video, which is every Sunday and Wednesday. So I hope you're following me on Instagram, it's Chelsea Jackson, as well as shop is Chelsea Jackson. I do have items from my closet that I do list there for sale. So have a little peruse, all right? So in today's video, y'all know the spring is here and I'm gonna be talking to y'all about some spring slash summer must haves for your wardrobe. Now, as you probably saw in my previous video, I did make the spring capsule collection. You saw my spring capsule collection. Those items are very basic as in any capsule collection is very basic. But these are pieces that will take the outfit up a notch. As you know, an outfit, you can wear something so plain, but what's going to take you from have like a warm four or five to a hot 10 are the accessories. So let's just get straight into the video. Okay, so I have everything separated into categories and we're gonna talk about the first category, which are the bags. I think that everyone needs a straw bag for the spring. Now it could be your wicker. It could be like the straw bag I have that you see here from Zara that I got last year. I don't think they have it this year as a matter of fact, but yeah, a straw bag, especially the one I have, I took it to Hawaii and I took other bags with me, but I found myself wearing that more often because it just goes with everything. And forgive the light, y'all. Forgive the lighting. The sun is going down and I'm having to record on my iPhone because I messed up the lighting settings on my phone, on my camera. So I got to fix that. But we're going forward in Jesus name. <laughs> okay. So, um, but back to it. A straw bag really have a way of tropicalizing an outfit and making it real cute in summer and springy. And I just love that bag, especially, like I said, with this particular one, because it has the gold chain. Now, I could tuck the chain in. I could leave it out. It doesn't matter. I also have another bag. Now, I forgot the name of this material, but I got it from Zara as well. It's very resort. It gives resort look, especially with the wooden handles. I normally tie a scarf around it to give it some zhuzh, which is another thing on the list, but that's in another category. But yeah, straw bags, wicker bags, any bag in that straw family category is a must have. Next up for a bag, I think a pop of color bag is something that everyone needs. Now, Teddy Blake, now this is if you're in the market to spend a couple coins. Um, now the bags that I saw in there, they were like $300, but they give very much Kelly bags. They give very much Birkin. They look really good. They are made out of 100% Italian leather. And I haven't seen one in person. I do remember Brittany Pockets and Bowles doing a review on one of those bags about a couple, a year or two ago, something like that. But she did do a review. She gave a rave review on those bags. So yeah, I recommend checking them out. They have a really good sale right now and they have some really cute colors. I saw another YouTuber, she did a review on an orange. It was like a saturated orange bag and it looked like a a Birkin. Um, and he doesn't do replicas. You can tell it ain't a Birkin, but it's it has the Birkin silhouette. So, you know, Teddy Blake, he has a name of his own, but he's not trying to come for, you know, the Kellys and the Birkins. He's, you know, he's giving you that reminiscent look for a fraction of the cost. So, but yeah, they have like this saturated yellow color. Um, if I had the yellow Oran sandals, I would definitely get that. I, they have some to, to match the color Orans that I have, especially that tan. So I think I may get a tan, um, but they have orange. They have like this beautiful saturated pink, blue, light blue. They have so many different colors. I think it's over 13 colors. So yeah, check Teddy Blake out. Teddy Blake, those are nice. But that's if you want to kind of stay, you know, on the mid end. Now, if you want to stay on the le least expensive end, you always want to check Zara out. 
Zara have some beautiful bags and they, you know, they, they're just inexpensive. I mean, you can spend probably no more than a hundred dollars at Zara for their bags. They have some really nice, unique bags. I still have some bags from Zara, like the straw one that I just showed you guys with the wooden handles. I bought that about three or four years ago. So yeah, Zara, they, when they have their pieces, they have their pieces and they age well. The third bag, the third and the final bag on my list of spring must haves are the belt bags. I think they're so cute. Now I don't have one. If you saw my luxury wish list video, I did want the Louis Vuitton one. I did go into the Louis Vuitton store to try on the largest size they have and I cannot fit it. I think it's four more so of a size flat stomach 16 mint because if your stomach flatter you know you probably can squeeze it in a little bit more but really comfortably i think it's made to fit a size 14 on down so yeah i really wanted the louis vuitton one i think it's really cute and y'all know how i feel about that louis vuitton monogram i look at it as a neutral and you can wear with a lot of things and plus i don't like carrying a lot of stuff and those little pouches can fit a nice little bit of stuff they can fit my Fenty Cream Balm lip gloss. Y'all know the ones that's, that are like this round. It fits that. It fits the debit cards. It fits my ear pods. So everything I need, it fits in there. So, and it's two little pockets. But yeah, I can fit that. Um, Prada have one as well. Um, I haven't tried that one, but I prefer the Louis Vuitton one. But I'm still on the lookout. But I think those are some cute must-haves because you can put them around a vest and just you know tie it around to you know well not tie it around but buckle it up to give you some shape you can put it around a dress it just depends on whatever you're wearing i think a utility belt bag is really really cute okay so next category up are the belts the first belt y'all probably already know what i'm about to say <laughs> but it's the obi loewe belt I really love that belt. I think it's really cute. I think it just have a way of taking your outfit from a four or five to like a smoking 20, okay? Not even 15, but a 20. I think that belt is phenomenal. They have them in different colors, tan. They have them in white. I've seen black. And I've seen um, different designs. And they also have... I think this is new to their line, but it's denim. However, they are not plus size friendly and you ladies in my audience are plus size ladies. So I did see a comp. It's not a replica. It's kind of not even a dupe, but it's, it's, I, I would say I get, I wouldn't even say it's a dupe because it's not, it doesn't look exactly like it, but it's reminiscent of it but it's on Etsy and this shop is in the I don't even want to say the word because I don't want to mess up this Insta, this YouTube algorithm but it starts with a U and end with an E has crane in the middle but anyway as in the bird <laughs> but anyway no it does not spell that same way but anyway that particular Etsy shop owner is over there and she does, these belts are made out of 100% leather based off her description. And I saw the reviews. She got a lot of rave reviews, but those belts look good, y'all. And they do go up to plus size. I want to say she go up to, well, she really don't even have a, a max size because she goes up to a size 2X, I want to say, like in her regular size lineup. But she also have a tab for custom. Now, if you want it custom, because the belts are like 195, 180, something like that. But if you want it custom, it's like $210. And, you know, you can put it if your waist size is a 40, you know, six, whatever like that. She can, they can just make it from scratch and send it to you. Now, it is a, I want to say it's a 30 day turnaround time. So you will have to wait for a month for that belt. And I wish I would have known because I wanted it for this video. And when I was doing research for this video, I did come across that company. And that's the only company I've really seen that sell a dupe or something that's comparable to an Obi belt. 
that actually looks good because those belts look good okay <laughs> like the leather just looks so good and so rich so yeah i would i'm gonna put the name of the company right here but you guys should definitely go check it out now i call myself getting a dupe from shein just to see what it looks like or to see how it would even form child this shein dupe isn't worth a quarter but this is what it looks like this is for the waist of a five-year-old <laughs> but anyway i just wanted to kind of get a gist of how would it even look if i did get the belt but so with the belt the obi belt it comes you know you're supposed to kind of wear it like this where both sides meet like this but then you know for us plus size ladies it'll pretty much leave like a gap of space depending on how big your waist is like this or probably like this and it'll tie and i don't think i want that look. now if you're in the mood for like a traditional belt kind of like those gucci belts a lot of people were wearing a valentino belt they are really nice especially if you wanted to wear it around a dress to kind of give you know because some dresses especially summer dresses go down like this and give you that parachute look you may just want to be snatched so you may want something to tuck you know tuck you in right here or even wear with your jeans so with that being said a valentino belt is really nice and i think they're like five or no more than six hundred dollars and it's reversible now they have different ones but i saw a youtuber did a review on a reversible valentino belt and it looks good you get the cat you get the tan side like that little bill i just showed y'all that side and you have the black side and the buckle is removable so with that being said you get a lot <laughs> you know that 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 can be a workhorse because you get a two for one for less than six hundred dollars now for us plus size ladies it would be better for us to order from the men's section. Um, the lady that I watched, she was a size 22, and she did order the belt from the men's section, and it looked just as good. She used it to kind of cinch in her waist because she tried on like this sweater dress from somewhere, and I just thought that Valentino belt with the gold V, it just added some, you know, really cute pop of gold, and it looked and it made the dress look even more better. So yeah check it out i think this is a spring one of the spring must-haves which is a cute traditional belt and the third one i already mentioned it so i'm not going to carry on about it but the utility belt bag again something that's cinch in the waist something to give your outfit some pizzazz i think that'll be so cute a utility belt so first up a must-have for spring accessories are satin scars guys satin scars have a way of taking your outfit from black to va va boom <laughs> like y'all saw how i put my satin scarf on from well it's really kind of like a silk mix that i got from zara last year i put that on my louis vuitton little poche accessoire and it made it look so much cuter um you can put it around your neck you can put it around your head and tie it if you want to give that rich auntie who don't have time for nobody in their shenanigans and with your sunglasses <laughs> you can do that but yeah you can tie it around like put it in two belt loops and just tie it to give your waist some kind of play action scarves you can do a lot with so i and then most of all i like to take them and put them around my purses they just give my purses another interest they take my outfit up especially if i'm wearing a monochromatic look and I have a regular purse and I just tie one of those cute scarves around it with the nice colors. It just takes the outfit up. So yeah, get you some silk scarves. Zara have them all the time. You just kind of got to look because Zara, what they do is they'll get a whole bunch in and then they won't have any more. They'll get a whole bunch in and won't have any more. Shein normally have some Zara dupe scarves on there. But um yeah that's um who else normally have some that's if you want to stay in the inexpensive realm now next i'm going to go to my more expensive scarves i do have a dior scarf if you saw that 
Um, I bought it, what was it last year or year before last? But anyway, yes, I do have a Dior scarf and it's one of those large scarves. So I can get a lot of money out of that because I can wear it as a sarong or I can wear it around my neck as a shawl. It's a lot that you can do with that scarf. I do think scarves like that are a must have because again, that could be a workhorse for you. You can wear it many different ways. Love scarves. Next up is jewelry. So guys, I'm really not a jewelry person, but some pieces you do need to take your outfit up a level. So I'm gonna start off with statement earrings. Y'all see everybody and their mom with the Louis Vuitton Louis earrings. We all love them. <laughs> Y'all see my Fendi earrings, Dior. Statement earrings, especially the Louise earrings, they just go with everything and they have a way of summarizing and springizing an outfit up. That's not a word, summarize. Well, summarize is a word, but it don't mean what I'm using it for. I'm just saying it has a way of making your outfit look more summer-ish. Now you can, of course, you can wear them all year round, but I'm just saying those earrings hit different in the warmer months with those outfits, with those pop of colors. Love the Louise earrings. That's a nice investment to have. They do not change colors. They do not break you out. Well, at least I haven't heard of any stories of it, them breaking anything out, anybody out. Of course, they're not real gold. They are like plated. I don't even know if they're gold plated. They're just some gold material. Um, but they're really nice. They do not turn and yeah. So get you some nice statement earrings and it don't have to be designer. You can go anywhere that sells nice jewelry. Again, Zara, Zara, they have some nice pieces at times. Check them out. There are a lot of places online that sell a lot of inexpensive pieces, but they look good. I prefer getting plated jewelry, gold plated, if you don't want to spend that much money. So that way you don't have to keep buying them over and over again, like forever 21, you know, if you just leave those earrings sitting sometimes, you know, they turn on you. You don't want that. Just go ahead, invest, and get you some nice jewelry. At least earrings. I know we really don't wear necklaces much anymore. But, yeah, some rings, necklaces, uh, some rings, some watches, bracelets. Um, watches, everybody is into the whole Rolex or rolex isk tees so i know a lot of people i forgot the name of that jewelry company that a lot of people are selling the watches for um i don't know but y'all can go to chelsea page she have them on her um page or whatever but she sell those watch well she's an ambassador for the company but yeah go and get you one of those watches a lot of people like those watches if you're into watches me in the summer spring and summer i do bring out my dior friendship bracelets and you couple that with a couple of gold or silver pieces or you can mix metals my mom she mixed her metals because we both have a neutral skin tone so we both can get away with either one and it still looks good so yeah you can mix metals get you some dior bracelets get you some david yarman whatever just invest in some nice jewelry for the spring and summer it has a way of elevating your outfit all the more next category up are shoes now i'm going to start off pretty ambitious on the price side on this but i think a pair of spring must-have shoes are the oran sandals y'all y'all know i have my ups and downs with the oran sandals stemming from the video i did last year <laughs> that i tried on all of the designer shoes i did another one this year too so make sure you watch both but I did a video and I tried on the Oran sandals in the boutique here in Atlanta and they did not work out. I tried on an 11 and I tried on a 10 and they did not work out. Now I did tell you guys, if you haven't saw my last video, last year I had gay, I was at my highest weight and my feet were swell all the, were, you know, pretty much fat. They were swollen and things like that. So I, I had to order up a lot in order to, you know, for my shoes to fit. Now that I have lost a little weight and 
my feet are, you know, back down to a normal size. I'm able to fit the shoes that I've purchased. Now I did say order, if you do have wide feet, I do still recommend you, depending on how wide your feet are, and if they are wide and kind of fat or chunky, I do suggest you go up a size and a half. But to the average person with the average size feet, I do recommend you, a lot of people say true to size. Yes, that's if your feet is, you know, narrow to normal. But the if you know you have a regular width foot, I would say go up a half size in the Orans. That's what I will say today. But the Oran sandals, they just go with anything, especially. And I wouldn't even say Oran sandals because you don't have to have them. You don't have to have no $600 sandals. I mean, we're so first world, it doesn't make any sense. You don't have to have them, but if you did decide to get some, the white Oran sandals are bay. They go with almost anything in the spring and summer. They look good, they're clean, they're chic, and they're just original. Now they do have different colors. The more colors, the better in my opinion. But if you just wanted to just become a part, join the Oran family, get the white ones especially if you only want to get one color and you kind of just want to know what to get because I mean the average person ain't around here tripping over their feet to pay $630 for no darn sandals okay but I'm just saying if you wanted to join the family the white ones are their bae okay next up for spring must have shoes which is something that I have to find myself our platform shoes. Now, if you saw, I had the gold ones from ASOS, but I ended up sending them back because they just had too many scuffs for my liking. And they weren't even on sale. And they were cute. They were very comfortable, but they did not. They were just too scratched up. But yeah, get you some platforms. Platforms are definitely in. They're cute. They're chic. Tom Ford, the ones, the disco sandals that everybody were wearing last year. I want to say they're back in stock. So... If you want those, I recommend getting those. Those are nice. Zara has some nice platform uh, shoes as well. And a black and like a royal blue slash purple color. Really pretty. Um, they have them pretty much everywhere. Ego Official, they have them at all price points. But platform shoes are definitely a thing. They look good with like slip dresses. They look good with slip skirts. They look good with regular skirts regular dresses they look good with shorts platform shoes are really in right now especially the open toe ones but a lot of people are wearing the valentino ones right now too which are closed toe yeah platforms period are just in get you a pair okay so last category up on the list are hats now the first one is the one i just got which is the ruslan or ruslan bakensky hats I think those are really, really nice. They do have a way of elevating any outfit. I don't even think it's arguable at this point. Anybody that you see have one on, they stand out like a sore thumb because that's, it's a crowd, it's a showstopper, and it just makes your outfit look all the more better. It has a way of taking your outfit again from lukewarm to scalding hot. Like those hats are the bomb. They are two to three hundred dollars for the most part, but it's because worth you can it. throw on some jeans, a white v neck top, and put on that hat, that RB hat. I'm gonna call it RB for the video because I don't want to keep messing up the name. But you can throw on that RB hat and some cute shoes, and boom, you have an elevated outfit because of the hat. So yeah, if you are a hat person, because everybody's not a hat person, I would consider investing in one of those. Also, check out my video right here, so that way you can see a full review on it, and I'm talking about the sizing and the pricing and all that good stuff. So yeah, check it out, but that's one of a must-have in my opinion. Next up are straw hats. So I'm a hat person in general, so I'm going to say a fedora or a Panama hat. I have a Panama hat that I got last year at J. Crew. And the hat was $78. And I'm like, I don't know. I ain't never paid $78 for no Panama hat. But I really liked how it looked on me and how it fit. And I just, it was just everything to me. So I went ahead and bought that hat. That, I wore it all spring, all summer. 
that is my favorite hat i definitely got my money's worth out of it so yeah get you a fedora or a panama hat and that is another way of elevating a look it gives you the rich on tees okay and last up in this particular category and last up for the video are bucket hats y'all i have my collection of bucket hats some hats y'all probably seen some you haven't but i am a lover of bucket hats if you decide to have on your long weave you don't feel like gluing it down or anything like that and you have your face made up and throwing a bucket hat honey you it, it gives cuteness <laughs> it gives i'm still put together i love a good bucket hat a lot of people like to wear designer which i have a designer one middle of the road i typically try to get most of ivy park bucket hats um now i gave some away so the only one i have left now is the denim one that denim one i definitely got my money's worth last summer because the denim one i can put those on some denim shorts put any kind of shirt on and put that denim hat on and it's an outfit and i don't have to glue down my wig that is my favorite then i have regular like black and things like that so yeah bucket hats are definitely a thing get into it that brings this video to a close i hope you found this video useful these are my spring must-haves a lot of things on this list i still am looking into getting but i think these will take your outfit from black to i've arrived so yeah i hope you liked it don't forget to comment like and subscribe also follow me on instagram at it's chelsea jackson underscore see you in the next video